How many IBCs do you fill in a week? Well, here at Nerd Precision Engineering, they were filling seven. But now, that is down to one, thanks to the Swarf Compactor from Lubriserve. So, Comrade, a lot has changed since the last time we were here. And before we get into what has changed on the machines, talk us through what has changed here at NERC. I mean, we moved as a business in October last year. Uh, we moved from Bristol to Long Hope in Gloucestershire. And as you can see, we went for a bigger unit. It's almost four times the size. And we've also heavily invested in new DMG Morning machines. We have now six of them. They all work class, five axis horizontals, five axis automation. Now, like I said, you create a lot of top-notch quality parts, which is great for the business, but comes with its own set of problems. Swarf being one of them, you've got a nice, clean shop, and you don't want IBCs full of Swarf all over the place. So how have you solved that problem? Uh, we researched the market, and we found out that um, Lubuster sells the Swarf Bricketers. And as you can imagine, if you have a horizontal machine, especially from DMG Mori, they, they will produce a lot of parts. Every day, 24-7, cut metal, produce Swarf. What we found out when we won our contract was that we were producing one full IBC of Swarf every day, seven days a week. It's great, you're making money, but you also running out of space very very quickly even though the billing is so much bigger after the first two weeks we were like oh we cannot we cannot continue like this this is not sustainable we cannot have so many blue bins of swarf and so many ibc's of swarf every day being collected comes in comes out being moved around all the time it's just it's not efficient it's just a waste of time a waste of space at the same time so we we approached lubricer and they said you can have a machine attached to your CNC machine. I was quite surprised because most of the other solutions were the big, bulky machine somewhere in the corner of the factory. And it wasn't the perfect solution for us. And when we found out we can have a machine attached directly to the Swarf conveyor of our machine, it was like a win-win scenario. It doesn't take much of a space. It's even less than IBC unit. And it works all the time. When the machine works, it produces a swarf, it goes into the compactor and then into the brickets. So That's you, easy. So you were producing seven IBCs of swarf a week? From the one machine, yeah. So what are you doing now with the swarf compactor? One. Now, Richard, we've just heard from Comrade about the benefits he's seen from it. But how does this system actually work? Well, all it does is takes, uh, this is aluminium swarf we've got here. So if you look into there, there's a screw feed at the bottom. So it just acts as a hopper. The swarf falls in, screw feed into the pressing chamber, presses the swarf at about 700 kilos a centimetre. But we do ones that go up to over 2,000. But for aluminium, that's fine. Then the briquettes work their way up this uh, outlet chute and into the, uh, into the RBC. Now, one thing I've noticed is even though all the swarfs going into this IBC, there's no coolant in there. No. So where's the coolant going? No, well, as, as these uh, briquettes are formed and it's pressed under that pressure, the coolant comes out, goes into an inbuilt tank. Once it gets to a certain level sense, then it will pump that coolant back into the machine. So that coolant is freshly squeezed, so the coolant's still clean, so there's no issues with contamination. And I know Conrad was saying it was great that he found a compactor that attached straight to his conveyor. But do you do other models in this range? Yep, this is a say, part of a range. So we go from small compactors that do about 10 kilograms an hour. This one will do probably up to about 30 kilograms an hour. But we've got machines that are where you can centrally load with great big containers, with elevators that will do hundreds of kilograms an hour. So Conrad said he's gone from seven IBCs a week down to one. Yeah. So what sort of cost savings are you going to be looking at? Well, number one is the swarf for aluminium is generally more valuable. So we see increases typically 50%, sometimes up to 80% increase in value. And also that must stop you getting charged from your supplier or whoever's taking this aluminium away. Because normally they charge you a drying fee as well to get rid of the coolant. They, yeah, what they do is 
they have a guess and say we will allow 30% moisture content and they will take that off your off your revenue. And are we just looking at mills, lathes, all types of machines? All types of machines, so we can do, we, we supply them for saws, so very fine swarf, we can do stainless steel curly swarf, we can do chip swarf, there's a, a machine for everybody. So, overall, what was the service and support like from LubriServe getting this thing, getting it installed and getting it up and running? Um, I'm really sure from the initial conversation to the installation it was two, three days maybe. And then there's no maintenance with the machine. It just takes the power, takes the swarf, creates brickets. As easy as that really. So no maintenance, no servicing. Obviously yearly annual service just to make sure the machine works fine. But since then we have no issues. So So last question, it was a good investment and more people should look into it. I mean I'm not going to tell anyone who they should be doing, but if you want to have less hassle and more money from your swarm, this is the option.